Hello and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. And today we finna talk about how can you take good pictures of jewelry. If y'all be selling uh, rings and jewelry on Etsy.com or eBay, then this might be something you want to be checking out. Alright, the main ingredient is you need to get you a garbage can. And not just any garbage can, but you're going to need one that's white plastic. I got this one at Fred's Dollar Store, and it only cost me $4. And then next of all, you're going to need a light source. And for me, I got a cheap old clamp light, but you can use whatever that you might have laying around. Now you're fitting to put your light directly on top of your garbage can. Or in this case, your garbage can is now a light box. It's going to do a couple things. It's going to diffuse. That means distribute or spread out the light from your light source. And also, it's going to give your jewelry a lot of white things to reflect. That's what makes your jewelry look shiny and pretty. Take your time and move your light source around until you get it just like you want it. It's incredible how a little bit of move and a change left or right, front to back, can change the dramatic of your whole picture. Here go mine. Hold up, crass man. I need me shiny up underneath it. Hey, ain't no problem. Go back to Fred's dollar store and get you a piece of glass out of a picture frame. Look at this. This is what I did, sticking a piece of glass up under the ring. It's also important to get your white balance looking good. What you want to do if you got a manual white balance on your camera, you want to flip through all the different settings. In my case, I was using an incandescent bulb, so I set it to tungsten. But most of the time, you can just put it on auto and you'll be good to go. Hey, craftsman, uh, a little while ago, I forgot to tell you I ain't got no light. Well, you can take good pictures even if you ain't got any lights at all. Just take your garbage can diffuser light box outside and here's what you can get with it. Don't be afraid to get creative. You can use a flashlight, uh, LEDs, all these little lights add a little uh, glimmer, little, little catches here and there, accentuate little areas and highlight parts of your jewelry. You can even use a piece of paper to just get creative and have fun with it. You can use a macro adapter if you want to get in real close and good. This is what it looks like with a macro adapter. I got it off of eBay. If you don't have a macro adapter, well, like I said, you can just get creative. In this case, you can hold the lens away from the camera body. You can also get some real neat effects this way, like some light leaks. However, there will be more chance you get dust all up on your camera sensor. So I just tell you that little disclaimer. But do what you gotta do. Well, that's another episode with your friend the Craftsman. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you got any friends that like doing crafts, or maybe they would like to take pictures with a, a garbage can and stuff like that, send them to me. And keep steady crafting.